Gilly is the best moon in KSP2 and I will prove why and convince you that you should visit Gilly as soon as possible because Gilly is absolutely amazing and I will give you 8 reasons for that. And I will give you the reason in a practical mission I did and you could do as well because it's a really easy ship. But first of all I built a little rocket and launched it. Here it is. And while we are blasting off the surface of Kerbin, we can get to the first reason, which is it is really cheap to get to Gilly, because Eve is a neighboring planet of Kerbin. So easy to get to, about the same Delta V as the Mon. The only tricky thing is to get the transfer window to Eve right, but I will show how this works here. To get a transfer window with Eve, Eve has to be 55 degrees behind Kerbin. You can just eyeball it or you can do it like me because I'm a dinosaur, you can use a paper. And you can see just how easy it is to get there. The delta V required for this burn is really minuscule. And the second reason you will see now. Reason number seven, you can see it in the background, Gilly orbits Eve, which leads to amazing shots, really amazing views when you fly to Gilly and when you are on Gilly, because if you're are on Gilly, you have permanent view of Eve. But first of all, just enjoy the views of Eve. So for the next reason, reason number six, we have to get to Gilly and here we are! As you can see in the background, Gilly looks amazing. The glow up of Gilly, probably one of the best in KSP overall. It really looks like an asteroid. And what is really cool is to do direct ascent missions like I did. I don't bother with orbiting, I just go straight down, which is really risky and you can see that it was really close. This here is real time. Yeah, this is real time. We are really, really fast still. And my TWR is really low. And have this crater not been there, I would have died. All my five kerbals would have died. You can see we dive into the crater and we still have mind boggling 70 meters a second of speed. So it's really good that this crater was there. And that's the fun of doing direct descent ghillie missions. Sadly, I had to quick load there because the landing legs weren't working. But the next point is something special. Point five, you can land using RCS. You can see my engine is just stopped. My engine isn't working anymore. I mean, it could, but I just shot it off because I could land using RCS. And next point, point number four, the surface looks absolutely amazing. But first of all, let's get the Kerbals out. Then we can get to the next point, which is EVAs are so much cooler now, there is way more to do than just planting a flag. Like jumping on Gilly is really fun. You can see we are still going upwards and upwards and up. 2000 years later. We are going upwards and we are flying. Let's get to the rest of the video and look how Team C is doing later. Because there's a really fun thing you can do else than just jumping, which is trying out the EVA pack and doing crazy parkour along the ground. Try flying as close as possible to the ground, almost crashing, but not quite. But it's really fun. You can set up like um, custom parkour routes you made up in your heads. But how is Team C doing? Okay, still jumping. Uh, let's just get the rest of the video done and look how he's doing later, okay? Wait, they're flying. Oh, okay, uh, here we go, lift off. And with lift off comes the next point. It's really easy to lift off of Gilly. You don't even have to get into an orbit. But once you are in the sphere of influence of Eve again, it is actually really challenging to get back. I mean, you could wait for a um, Kerbin transfer window, but just try getting back to Kerbin without waiting in Eve orbit. And it is really challenging because you actually have to drop back to Eve and then accelerate using Eve's gravity. So you have to do like a little gravity assist inside of the same system you're in right now. So it's really good. 
So now you know 8 reasons why you should visit Gilly today or tomorrow as soon as possible. But wait, how is Team C doing? Oh my god, he's still jumping. Anyway, let's roll in the end card. I will see you in the next video guys. Goodbye!